Satan pretends to answer the saint's prayers. Satan sees that he is about to lose his case. He cannot sweep in the whole world. He makes one last desperate effort to overcome the faithful by deception. He does this in personating Christ. He clothes himself with the garments of royalty which have been accurately described in the vision of John. He has power to do this. He will appear to his deluded followers, the Christian world, who received not the love of truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness, as Christ coming the second time. He proclaims himself Christ, and he is believed to be Christ, a beautiful, majestic being clothed with majesty and with soft voice and pleasant words, with glory unsurpassed by anything their mortal eyes had yet beheld. Then he deceived, deluded followers set up a shout of victory. Christ has come the second time. Christ has come. He has lifted up his hands just as he did when he was upon the earth and blessed us. The saints look on with amazement. Will they also be deceived? Will they worship Satan? Angels of God are about them. A clear, firm, musical voice is heard. Look up! There was one object before the praying ones, the final and eternal salvation of their souls. This object was before them constantly. That immortal life was promised to those who endured unto the end. Oh, how earnest and fervent had been their desires. The judgment and eternity were in view. Their eyes by faith were fixed upon the blazing throne before which the white robes ones were to stand. This restrained them from the indulgence of sin. One effort more, and then Satan's last device is employed. He hears the unceasing cry for Christ to come, for Christ to deliver them. This last strategy is to personate Christ and make them think their prayers are answered.